Alright, this is Beyond the Blue RC, and today I've got my Traxxas Rustler 4x4. And I'm using this, uh, it's not really new, it's, it's new ish. I don't think it's been out for a while, but this is the Traxxas uh, toolkit I just picked up. So, I really actually like this toolkit, so I'll be showing this off as I'm doing this install. And what I'm going to install today is. the slipper bu aluminum bushing and bearing and that's the part number 6893X so if you want to install this on your Rustler 4x4 this is of course the part number you're going to need to order alright so let's get started all right, so I think that the first thing you're gonna most likely need to do is remove these two screws right here. So yeah, and like this is what you get in the toolkit. Nice ratcheting driver. You only get one of these wrenches. I just have an extra one, so I stuck it in here. And various bits. You've got a couple Phillips, three Phillips, and then with two standard on the other end, and then you've got, let's see here, three hex adapters, or hex bits mm. 3.0 3.0 that doesn't sound right yeah 1.5 2.0 and a 2.5 there you go yep oh and there's some on the end too you get a you have those and then on the other end, that's what the bigger sizes, which are uh, 3.0, 3.5, and a 4.0. So yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Nice little ratcheting driver. And of course, a 4, point, 4 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 5.5 millimeter, 7 millimeter, 8 millimeter nut drivers. So, nice little kit. I like it. Alright, so let's get started here. Moving these. What's nice about this is it's telescoping. You can have whatever length you want. And just go glue whatever you it's most comfortable for you. So let's Start removing these screws here. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's pretty straight and easy. So you got these two out. And next what you're going to do is remove this one and this one. I don't know if you can even see. This one and this one. So let me just take those two out and we'll come back. Alright, once you take those uh, two screws out, you just basically just pull this, pull this right out, and it basically just comes right out. And you 
can put that to the side because you won't need that for a while. It's just your rear end. And this should just pull right out just like that. There you go. So now what I need to do is take out that set screw and remove all this so that I can get to this piece in here. So that's what we're going to do next here. Maybe clean a little of this up while I got it apart. Alright, so you want to take out this set screw right here. Take this out. Slide right out, put that to the side. Alright, now you want to get your nut off, your slipper nut off, so do that next. Alright, so what you want to do is have two of these wrenches. Eight millimeter on here, and a five millimeter back here. So five millimeter back here, and an eight millimeter right here, and then just and just unscrew it here, and it should just unscrew. I can already see the spring. Basically not having any tension on it at all. So yep, and that just unscrews like that. the side, put this off to the side, and then it's just a matter of getting the bearing and the bushing out, and it just pulls right out, it just pulls right out, pull right out. Um, oh, that doesn't look too bad. I'll have to compare the, uh, the new one to this one. See what difference, what the differences are. If this is wore out at all or not. I don't know. Alright, so let me put my slipper off to the side here. Of course, here is my my new pieces. Here it looks like the bearing has got some oil on it, so I don't really need to worry about that. And. And I read that this stock one will melt, and it does have some wear on it. But, really not that bad. I mean, there's a little wear. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, there's a little wear on the top. Just because it's plastic. And that's where it's rubbing. But against this bearing here, you got plastic, you know, rubbing up against metal, so you're gonna get some wear. Whereas with this one, shouldn't really get any 
anywhere because it's metal. Not metal. At least not. I mean, there might be. I don't know. A little bit of wear, but not. I mean, I can see the grooves in this already, and I haven't really. Really haven't. I've probably ran this truck five or six times so far. Maybe seven. So, I mean, for there to be a you know, noticeable groove in there. All right, so once you get your bearing and bushing on there, you are, well, it's called a bearing adapter. What is, um, this is what they call it, bearing adapter, bushing adapter, whatever. Once it's installed, you can put your spring back on the nut back on use my driver try not to let my slipper Pets fall out here. That would be good. Now this is just to kind of get it snug because I'm going to have to get that other wrench on the back here to really get this super tight, but I might not worry about getting it super tight. I think I'm just going to get it just snug for now until I reinstall it. What the heck? Oh, the bearing fell off. I'll slip that bearing back on there. All right, and now we're ready for this to go back in the rear end of this truck. Oh, and you also want to reinstall your drive shaft spline back on here. Let's just tighten that set screw down. Nice and snug. I can always go back in and snug it in a little bit more if I want to. Just to make sure it doesn't move. Put this in first. There we go. Then slide this in. Like so. Hear a click, that should be a good sign that you're in. Alright, so I took my slipper cover off just to see in there, make sure my pinion and the slipper are lined up, and they are. So that means I can go ahead and reinstall the bolts screws. I'm going to put this top ones in first. Now I'm not going to put them in all the way. I'm not going to tighten them down all the way, I should say. about this is you can do this one-handed it's a nice easy wrench to to 
to use. It's threading in nicely. I'm not going to tighten it down all the way like I said. I'm going to put the other screw in. So it feels like it's threading when it's supposed to. That feels better, I think. I think I'm just going to put a little pressure on it. Yeah. Just screw it down in there. Sideways. All right. Maybe what I can do is get that out for now. Put in these bottom ones. These look like they're nice and lined up, I'm ready to go in. Alright, and then I'll finish putting that other screw in and tighten these all down the way they're supposed to be and come back and we'll readjust the slipper clutch. Alright, so now these two screws Two screws are tight, and these two screws are tight, so we're good there. Everything's back to they're stuck there, and set screw is tight. Spline here. So my set screw is tight. Set screw is tight. So now we just have to set the slipper, and that's basically pretty easy. All you do is just you're gonna have a wrench on here and then a wrench on your nut. Tighten this all the way down, and then back it off however you want your slipper to be set. Um, I usually set mine three-quarter a turn loosen after tightening it all the way. I'll loosen it up about three-quarter turn. That's kind of how I like it. But you can have it, you know, maybe half a turn or whatever you whatever your driving style suits. However, it suits your driving style. Or your driving style suits the slipper, however you want to say it. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, yep. Beyond the Blue RC1. Hope you enjoyed watching this video, and please subscribe.